Welcome to Eucanic. Today here on Eucanic we have a 2020 Honda Civic and we are going to go over the steps in which you remove this door lock actuator. So to start with, you would have removed your inner door panel. You don't need to remove the glass. The glass has been removed, but you would want to have the window all the way up. That and there's the plastic piece of cover that goes in here on the door that you would remove. And then we need to remove the door lock uh, cylinder as well as the exterior handle. So to start with, we need to pump this little controller up. Or not controller, but this little piece here. It holds your window uh, door switches. And I've got a few electric here. And then there's one screw down here that we need to do. So we work that up and out. Uh, there's the uh, little connections here. The tab, you have to press it in. Uh, electric connectors are done. And we've got that connection undone. And so now we have that out of the way. Then we have one uh, Phillips screw right here. We remove that one Phillips screw that's in there. That side. And now we take our good plastic screw. We'll be able to do the way around right here. What we do is we go around and make sure all of the little push pins that are holding this to it are Now up here we have this that's connected into that little plate. And then actually I've been able to pull those out of there and all those push pins. We're now able to remove our inner door uh, cover. And we can set that aside. Um, we've removed the inner door panel. Now the inner door panel has been removed, now we have access to remove this little plastic cover. And so we'll go through that process. First we have this connector up here. We'll want to undo the electric connector that goes to the mirror and also pop this connection out so that when we undo this um, plastic panel that is glued on here, it doesn't become in our way. You may prefer not to undo this just because you want it to like, you'll just hang this piece out here. That's uh, it's up to you, or if you want to remove the whole thing, this is what we do. Now this is held on by a clip, but if you come in from the bottom and the top side, you're able to press the connector tabs. Um, okay. And what you're trying to, you're pressing these little tabs here that hold that together. Okay, so we've got that side undone. We have one electric connector over here on this side. We'll undo that, and that one will feed through there. Now we have this little plastic cover here. It's an access cover, so we'll remove that because that way it also holds this plastic piece on there. And now we will go and remove this. Now this is a fairly new car, so this glue is nice and still sticky. So we want to remove it best we can and also while we're working on anything here we do our best not to be touching this and getting it all over ourselves. So to remove this door like cylinder you would have undone taken this little plastic cover off here and then there is another 10 millimeter bolt in there that you undo and remove and then just be able to pull out your door lock cylinder, set that aside, then to remove this handle just pull it straight backward and pull that out. With those out then we we'll want to also remove these little plastic cover pieces as well as this one here. So those, now we go and remove some components from the inside of the door to be able to get the rest of this off. So the door lock actuator that sits right over here, that is the unit that when you hit the button to lock the door, it sends the electric signal and it will lock the door, unlock the door, as well as other things. So if it's not working anymore, that's when you'll need to replace the whole unit. So to start with, we have removed that exterior portion and now we can come into here. We will need to take this off. We're gonna do our best not to be touching the, the sticky stuff. And so we'll need to take this off because we're going to remove it as all one full unit. You need to undo this bolt and remove it. There's part of your the channel 
for your uh, window that goes up and down. So we just need to remove this number 10 and then we can pull that channel out. And then we'll undo three bolts here. Undo a bolt up here just a little bit, which is part of the extra handle that will help it all come out. With our 10 millimeter, we just undo this bolt and remove it completely. And then you'll be able to reach in here Yeah. We get the, the flexibility we need out of it. it. Didn't come completely undone. But if you, if you really work at it, you can pull it out. But we just need a little bit of flex. So we have that flexibility. Undo these two um, Phillips bolts that hold this handle on up here. And we do that because we need to pull this out. And as we're going to pull this whole unit out as well. Just a uh, Phillips. that out then we're just going to want to pop this that's just held on by a little uh, squeeze clip there so actually just need to pop this little tab up and then we'll be able to these wires out. Let those hang down there. Then we need to undo the three bolts here. We're going to undo these three um, bolts. They're a T30. So next you're going to want to reach in here, the door lock actuator unit, and be able to pull it down. So it's, it's free in there to a degree, except that the cable that runs from the other handle. So we're going to undo this bolt here. We just need to loosen it. Not much, but just enough that we can slide. This plastic piece in. And now that will free the whole unit. We should be able to pull the whole unit out. We are contending with the uh, window rail there. There you go. So, removal of the door lock actuator um, with the uh, handle attached. So we're replacing the door lock actuator. You wouldn't come with this handle portion, which go through the procedure to unhook this. And then with this top one, to unhook it, again, this, this little bar, this uh, little, that bar there, won't generally come with it, so you'll need to unclip this up top here. Okay, once you take this clip and undo it, then you're able to pop this little bar off so that you can replace your whole door lock actuator. We're going to go over the procedure and able to uh, put back your door lock actuator, a new one if you need to replace it because you removed it for that reason. So to start with, we're going to need to, we have the uh, exterior component for the door and this it holds on the inside and this is what your exterior handle uses to unlock your door or open up your door. We have a little rod that's going to go inside there and then we do the safety lock and lock it down. So to start with, we will take this we have to slide it up and in here. There's the one bolt on the front. That goes to the outside of the door and, and holds it in place. And so now with it held into place, I'm going to tighten that bolt. That's your 10 millimeter. So 
that is uh, tightened in the spot. And now we will go ahead and take our door lock actuator and we are going to uh, be able to get it to go up in there. Now this is where we have that window channel that we need to just pull up out of the way to the slide this behind it so that it doesn't interfere with the door mechanisms. So we need to get our three bolts to go in here. I'm holding the uh, actuator in there. I got the first one started. I gotta tighten that up a little bit. These are tapered, and so they will center upon being tightened up. But the main thing we're going to want to do is as it's getting, it gets tight, we want to make sure that our electric connector comes out this hole here. Okay, so the uh, electric um, connection has come out. Now we should be able to get the rest of these to start in. So we have those um, three bolts that are in and in tight. And next we want to make sure that we reach up inside there. And we have the metal rod that needs to go up in there and then lock down the extra safety latch that keeps that metal rod in there so that when you put the exterior door handle on, you're able to actually unlock the door and open the door from that exterior handle. In this process, we will get this to go back up where it needs to go. Popping this cover up. Tightening the two screws to hold this handle on there. All right, so we've got that in there now. We'll need to, before you get done with everything in here, we want to make sure that we get this, the window rail piece up and in there and the 10 millimeter bolt that goes into it. And then we tighten that. And that's all the interior portion that we need to put together um, for the door lock actuator. Make sure that if the window is going up and down. It's not going to interfere with any of these components that will go down in between there. So then, finishing up the components of the door lock actuator and the door handle, we just take our door handle, slide it in, and then slide it straight forward. And then we'll put our the door lock cylinder in. All right. We'll make sure we just put it in there, and that it it inserts into that door lock actuator unit and little star in there. Then we make sure that it works. Lock it and lock the door. Now, we'll put our number 10 millimeter bolt that holds it, that in there into place. All right, and so that's the install of the door lock actuator, exterior door handle, and everything that goes with it. So we have our piece of plastic. Got to uh, the electric lines over on this side through it. Since we got that side through, let's see if we can uh, just kind of work from this side a little bit first. 
That right there is a, uh, it's a little um, hole that gives you a good lineup where it's supposed to start with. Now we can work our way around while we're at it. It'll work. This way we have the electric, it comes from the other side. We have the one uh, push clip here, we we'll press that now. Worked our way around, and that is the plastic pieces that we install to the best that we can. So now that that is installed, we can go ahead through the remainder of the process of putting our inner door panel on. So we'll that up. Now we will get to the step of installing our inner door panel, and we just need to make sure that our oh, don't forget. I need to make this connection up here to our mirror of the electric connector. Now that we've done that, we're all good there. Now we can make sure that we get our wires to come through here. And then we have to just line those up. Put them on the top. About the pass. Snap back into place. Work our way around. installed our inner door panel. We put the one um, Phillips screwdriver, tighten that into place. And our last thing would be to take our window door switch unit and install that, hooking up the electric lines. And being able to work this clamp together so it all snaps into place.